What's up? Just smell so good, nation. Today was a long, I mean, yesterday was a long weekend, man. I'm telling you. And why I'm making this video on Sunday because I have an opportunity to make this video. Now, many of you who are looking and watching the videos of all fragrance guys and that's fine and dandy. But the real reason why you're looking, you want to know how to make some money in the fragrance game. And I will tell you this, the fragrance game can make you a lot of money. But it's also about diversifying your business. And putting a total focus on the business. And most of all, doing your numbers for your business. Because this business could win you a lot of money, and this business could lose you a lot of money. Just recently, I just found out, when I was listening to other videos, and I, I check out videos of other fragrance guys, that creating your own products is the best thing. That is so true. Making your own products, your customer come buy your own products is the best thing. And mixing fragrances to make that, to have a consistent client. Now, all of you know that the internet is the best possible way to learn, to find out, to create your own business, your own fragrance company, and so much more. I'm trying to get this right. But it's another reason why I'm shooting this video. You should diversify in every aspect of a fragrance business. You should list on eBay. You should list on Amazon. You should have your dedicated website yourself. You should also um, use Amazon platform, LinkedIn affiliate to sell Sprays. Everyone like fragrance oils. I am a admirer of fragrance oils. I enjoy fragrance oils. Fragrance oils is part of who I am in business. But my majority of my business is to make money. And I'm sure that's what why you watching this video. Also, you're gonna notice some changes in my videos. Maybe some music, but over here to BHO Innovations, where you're going to be down below, where you're going to be um, going to to learn about business ideas, how I can help you. I can talk to you in 15 minutes for $75, talk to you about anything about business that you want to know, or you just want to hear, you know, just get a listening, you know, listen, want me to listen to what you trying to accomplish what you want to accomplish during your time in business in 2019. Many people don't, do not delay and tell you how much they actually make in this business. Now, as a small vendor, and I'm going to call myself a small vendor for several reasons, because I have a location, but I'm a riding vendor. I go to my customers. One year, I made $62,000 in this fragrance business. And that's before the internet explosion, before the cell phone explosion came upon us, that anybody could find a fragrance, and anyone could buy one fragrance, and anyone could list a fragrance. Oh, my goodness, mercy. And that's before everything got, you know, blown up. This fragrance business has did a lot of things for me. It helped me invest in other businesses. And I think when you use this money, not for your whole life purpose, you know, pay all your bills, pay, all, pay everything, it can do that. But I think you should, if you have a job, don't quit your job. Try to grow that business. Try to grow your fragrance business. That means add more products to your list. 
I would say to most business owners who get into this business, stick to the core five fragrances. And I'm going to tell you what they are. Izzy Miyake, Polo Blue, um, Pink Sugar by Argelina, Viva La Juicy, Lick Me All Over. These five fragrances right here, those, those core fragrances, will make you money consistently. On oh, one more. Egyptian musk. Me, I'm selling Egyptian musk red. Here's why. Egyptian musk red is more robust. It's more pungent. It's more like it got a flavor to it. It's just awesome. That Egyptian musk red is one of those fragrances that once you put it on, it has the Egyptian smell. But it has one more flavor. And right now, I don't even know what that flavor is. But I know that it sells like crazy. And it smells just like crazy. Now, let's do some numbers. On 144 gross. And if you're looking at wholesaling fragrances, you're going to run into that one day. I don't think you should wholesale until you start selling two gross of fragrance in a week. Because why? Because you got to build your own client base. So I'm going to do a nap now. 144. And some areas, some people still selling oil for $5. I don't see why. That's $720, right? $720 times two. That's $1,440. Now, if you can sell that per week times four, that's $5,760 times 12, that's $69,120. Here's why I want you to build that clientele list. It makes you not only have your family, your friends, the internet, and additional walk-in clients that you meet each and every day, it makes you grow your business to look deep. And you need a deep business. Because with that cost, it's 69000 But look, how many fragrances would it take to make that each and every week? So we're looking at 48, sometimes 50 in a pound. 50 times uh, I'm going to say 6 to make it real good 50 times 6 right that's 6 pounds of oil that's 300 bottles so 6 times the amount that is sold in the oils normally run from 130 $30 to 25 to $55 Six times 30 is $180, right? $180 times times four. That's $720. That's perfume alone. Now, bottles range from $25 to $39. So let's do that. 39 times. I'm going to go high because you got to add shipping. Uh, you got shipping in. You got shipping in taxes, too. Time four is one fifty six. So you one fifty six plus seven twenty is eight hundred and seventy six dollars that you got to dedicate it to grow your business fragrance business times twelve. That's ten thousand five hundred and twelve dollars. It might not. It might sound scary. To it might sound like, wow, I'm spending a lot of money. But as you build your clientele and you roll your money and the currency keep on moving, it's not that much, actually, because five pounds will go quickly when you got the right five. And then you start adding additional new fragrances. Don't stop trying to create fragrances before you build a strong clientele list. 
that will make you lose a lot of money. Because most of your clients, they will not go online to look for what you're selling. Most of them want to buy from you. They don't want to be in business. So don't assume that they do. Now, another thing I found out, uh, when you buy pounds, let's say if you buy the right kind of pounds, like Egyptian Superior, that's a high-end fragrance. So if you're selling that, I buy that at $80 a pound. I'm not going to sell Superior Egyptian Musk no less than $12 a bottle. So 12 times 48, I made $576 off of $80. That's a real good price because it has that pearl lace in it. It's called Superior Egyptian Musk. But if you're not ready for that, don't do that. Just get the, the five or six fragrances that you need to grow your business. Get clients. Now, as a business owner, you're going to need business cards. Social media is fine. Facebook, Instagram, um, Snapchat, and some others, and Twitter. But that's not going to hold you in the long term of a business growth. You're going to need your clients that's around you. Here's why. If you don't have clients around you, you won't really circulate cash flow. The people who are on the internet, they're looking for the internet business. They're looking for the same thing you're looking for. Actually, they're looking for a better deal. Your clients, your core clients, are going to consistently keep your money rolling in. And that's what you want. Consistent clientele. And you want to build that. And the only way I can say to build that with business cards. And I would show, I would suggest to go to Fiverr and get you um, 500 cards for $10. Something like that. Put your name, telephone number, and tell them what you're doing. All pictures and all looks. You're selling that look. You're not selling the fragrance. You're going to put the fragrance on the card and sell it to the client. Another thing that I would suggest in 2019 Build more relationships so you can grow that business. As I, you know, continue to grow my life coach business in this industry, I'm still going to have the fragrance business. But the fragrance business is not going to be the dedicated thing that I do as we go forward. As you know, I'm an author. I wrote a book called Business Hustle Owner. I wrote a book, several books, Create. I wrote a book called The 1010 Rule of Perpetual Money and The Do's and Don'ts of Real Estate. And also, I'm, I could be your life coach as well to help you with business, not only in fragrances. So as you grow and you invest your business in other stuff and other things, grow your business sensibly one step at a time. And if you have a job, do not quit your job. I want you to do this. Please subscribe, make a comment, and share this information with all your friends and family. This is an ad-free zone. So when I ask for a don donation, a dollar or two, this is an ad-free zone. So please support this channel as I give the information to you so we continue to grow your business and help me support this um, business. So this is justmelsogood.com. And this is BHO Innovations. Please subscribe, make a comment, and share this information with all your friends. And thank you for coming to the Just Smells So Good Nation. Peace.